Are you ready to have an exciting time in Fusion 360? Me neither. Nah, I'm joking. So, um, this is another quick tutorial on how to sort of use Fusion 360. I know a lot of the tutorials are stupidly long out there, so I'm just going to make a bunch of short ones to spice it up a bit. Maybe it'll make your day better. So, I'm going to show you how to make kind of organic shapes. So, what this is here is it's to go on the back of my mouse. Okay, so great just block it all out so you can see there it kind of goes on the back big truck going by um, so it was initially quite uncomfortable but now my mouse is almost as comfortable as the MX master mouse because I made a nice palm swell you can see your hand kind of slopes off at the side thumb area you know exciting bits and pieces and then there's the attachment section underneath so I'm just going to take you through how to make those sorts of shapes um, I know it can be quite hard with the standard tools, especially with just rounding loads of squares. So there's actually an easy way of doing this, and it's all about that button there. So what you do is you click on it, and you can see your whole menu system up there changes into all the fun stuff. So you can click on like a box, uh, kind of like a rectangle really, but it's three dimensional. Uh, <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> okay, so what I've just done there is you know you can click on the box you select the face that you want it to be on and then you can choose the size the girth and where you want it you know you can put it anywhere you can put it way over there off the edge of the map um, and you can then obviously decide hey I want this here I want this sort of shape you know you can tweak about with it roughly okay so it's the sort of the sort of box you desire to be or box you desire to live and work in. So what you can then do, okay, so there's not much you can do with a box unless you're trying to make a nice dice, in which case you're done. Um, what you can do is you can right click on it and you can click this badass subdivide button and it breaks it up into more boxes. I know, who would have thought? You've got to press enter to apply that. You can subdivide it again. Oh, having the time of my life here. Um, as you can see it only happens on the face that you select. You can also I believe right click on here and you can do like insert edge and you can then position your new futuristic edge look how edgy that is now you can get an additional face in there what you can also do actually I'll show you this a bit later I'm kind of rushing through some stuff so you can kind of see this you know it's a box but that's a better way to visualize this and if you click on utilities you can click display mode Okay, over here you have a bunch of exciting options. So basically what it's doing at the moment is you have a box like normally in Fusion 360 and it uses something like the fillet tool and it just rounds all the edges off. As you can see, um, it's, you know, it kind of gives you a better way of visualizing what's going on. You can also have like a wireframe so you can see everything. It's so up to you what you prefer. I think just for demonstration purposes, for visualizing stuff, it's good to leave it on this. Um, so I'm just going to leave it like that. <laughs> it's totally horrible to look at. So let's say, <laughs> let's say you want to make your box a little less boxy. So you can click modify this button right up there. And um, yeah, so the, this this is your exciting bit. Oh, I'm actually going to turn that box off. It's actually doing my head in a lot more than I thought it would. There you go. Um, <laughs> So there we go, right, the modify, okay. So these arrows let you kind of move it about. It's very exciting. These squares let you drag it around on that plane so you can put it through things, whatever you want, all the fun stuff. And then, oh, modify, sorry, I hit M because I was thinking I was done. This little dot allows you to resize the damn object. Um, as you can see, it's kind of up and down for the whole sizing thing, side to side also does a bit. It's up to you. That looks kind of cool, doesn't it, actually? Um, you can then use these face, well, these lines, yeah, these lines, and you can also, it's kind of like a variation on moving the plane, um, and then obviously you can do that too on the other bits and pieces. All the good stuff. And here's the really exciting bit. Let's say you want it to be rotated. Oh, look at that. Wouldn't that be great? <laughs> Actually, that kind of looks like a dog. You know those little robotic dogs you can get? Um, yeah, kind of, kind of weird. I don't, some people are going to get it, some people aren't. Um, so here's some limitations of this, okay? So let's say you want your dog's face. Okay, hang on. Let's just subdivide this up, okay? 
let's say you have uh, subdivide his eye, okay, and you want to indent his eye, okay, so you're going to click the uh, modify tool and you're going to put in a little bit. Um, so let's say how far you can get it through his face, okay, because you're a bad owner, right? Come on, I want to move this. There you go. So you can move it through itself. So as you can see there, this little circle rim air, there, the bottom of it, um, it's going through it. And basically what happens when you click finish form, you're going to get a big error. It's not going to like it. Making those funny noises, you know. What have you done to the computer? You click close, close, you kind of get out of it. And you're like, oh, why is that happening? You know, you might have not done it so obviously as this, but it's something to look out for. So what you can do is you can either knowingly, because if you know where it is, I'm when I was making this thing, I had a bunch of faces down here which were just messed up. Um, and the same sort of thing like in there, you know, just in the weird place. I could probably make that a bit better now, but it's it was fine at the time. Um, so you can click modify and then you can obviously move it out. However, if you really want that there, you can just click on this area, you can click delete and you just keep going full ham on the delete button and you'll eventually, if you delete, it doesn't really make a difference. So you can just go on and delete just about everything you can and see how it's now magically out of there and if you click finish form it might be done. No, there's still some errors. So, because it's red, you can go along, keep clicking delete around those areas and eventually you'll solve the problem. Um, I'm just going to move this. You can hold shift, you know, to do uh, multiple parts at a time. And just going to move that. <laughs> this looks terrible. Is that going to work? Yeah. Sweet. So you've made your throne to ship down. I think that looks... I mean, I'm not saying my toilet looks like that, but kind of sit on top of that. Um, so let me show you some more features because that's what you're here to see. Um, you can edit by smashing that button. Um, so here's something fun. Let's say uh, you want a hole from this face subdivide to this face here uh, subdivide. Okay so you want that thing you want a hole going all the way through because you couldn't do holes before by dragging it through so you want to do an actual hole properly so what you can do is put bridge I know uh, it's very exciting you click on the two faces you want I'm not pressing shift here and bam all you do is smash this OK button and look you made a Einstein Rosen bridge or a what's it called <laughs> black hole not black hole um, you know the well anyway, anyway it's a tunnel. Um, enjoy it to your heart's content. You could probably make a really awesome grown-up toy from that if you get real fancy. Um, you can then oh yeah, so here's a really cool feature actually that you should probably know. So this thing here, I'm just going to press Shift to select multiple faces. I know it's exciting. And if you click crease. Okay, sure. Why is that not working? Okay, so that did actually work. So all that happened is this edge here uh, got creased. Like if you get a piece of paper, you know, it's nice and smooth and you can like make it a nice wide angle. Uh, press Control Z, you can kind of see how that smooths out. Uh, and I'm just going to redo it again just because it's very exciting to do. You can also right click, I believe. Yeah, there you go, crease. And then you can see how it's a uh, pointy edge. Really, um, you can obviously you see the word uncrease maybe earlier on. So let's see, you want to uncrease it? You can uncrease. It's very exhilarating stuff. Um, so, as you can imagine, the uncrease and crease function takes advantage of utilities. This display mode here. Come on, there you go. So you can see. Now, since we've edited everything, you can see how that face down there, remember that this one down just there, it's not going through anything else anymore. Um, that looks super weird to look into, doesn't it? Um, you can see that crease there, you can see how you've made that tunnel, and all that's happened is that um, Fusion 360 kind of softens out all the edges, 
you can do all that cool stuff. Um, so you can kind of get a grasp in your head of what's going on. Uh, and I, I think that helps. Um, what else? I think smooth edges, this is quite fun. Not really. Um, but you can select a bunch of faces. Uh, there and there. Go up there, smooth. And you get the sexy bar. Oh no, you've got to select it once you've done the tool. See how I can smooth it. And there you go. So it kind of increases its smoothness. But yeah, you can kind of see how you can play with that. And you can get, uh, well, it looks like a circle, but then it gets more circular. I don't know. You can kind of see how it changes and you can play about with that. Um, but it's just good to know it's there, really. Um, what else? Um, insert edge, subdivide, insert point. Insert point's quite an exciting one. Are you ready for this? It's pretty niche. Oh, actually. So while my box is fully messed up, let's say you want to select an entire ring around an object, like instead of having to click shift. And let's say you've subdivided it loads. You know, this has taken a while. Okay, what you can do is typically double click and it will select that whole section until it gets to like some weird angle that it doesn't quite know what to do with. Maybe this top bit? No, that won't work. I imagine these inner rings will work. There you go. So all you've got to do is double click and you can see that yellow, oh, the blue line there. Um, you can select it all through that. Um, what other tools are there that's quite useful to know about? Um, can make it something thick. No, so that's just for like planes, I believe, and you can do bottles with that. Um, you can join items together um, if you want. I imagine you can probably let's have a play. Let's see if fill hole. No, cool. I didn't think that would do something. So if you you can um, break the object. Uh, I'm trying to think how to do this. So if you've got a single plane and it's like a bottle for instance and it doesn't like it you can cap the bottle by putting that fill hole on the top um, it's got nothing to do with anyone called Philip unsurprisingly uh, beveled edges couldn't work out how to get that one to work uh, it looks like it doesn't do a whole lot those two items are fairly similar um, yeah. so okay we'll get on to that Where's, what's going on here? Uh, I want to insert a point. Cool, so you can kind of see there how you can insert the point and you can kind of just not move it. But once you click OK, you do all kinds of exciting stuff. But now this line is divided up. What more could you want with your life? But no, that kind of means that you can then modify it and then you can, you know, use it in a different way to how that line would typically function and uh, smash enter and oh, takes my sec to load that one so as you can see you kind of made the the shape that you desired i hope i kind of ran through a whole bunch of tools and features there as quickly as i could um i mean for whatever you're making you can make i've seen people make like knight cost like knights and shining armor and stuff like that um, you can make all kinds of fun, exciting things. Uh, just like it's like Blender, except you don't have to remember all the shortcuts. Uh, in fact, there weren't really any shortcuts that I really taught you in this one, but it's kind of useful to know. You can obviously finish form. There's that. Um, interestingly, you can then click on the object, and then you can create a sketch. Uh, smash Enter and you can extrude it out and you can actually combine the two like systems together so you can make better things um, and then so you can do things like that where you have a really precise bit at the bottom but then a nice organic shape at the top so maybe you want like a skateboard you know something like that um, if you want to go back to modifying and editing this top section here uh, all you got to do is right click this bad boy hit edit and Bob's your uncle, it's there. The other box down below is grayed out. Um, you can see at the end, I'll just show you this because it's kind of interesting. You see, what more could you want? Look at that, that is a, that is a face. 
Wow. Um, but yeah, uh, I hope this was a good tutorial. If you did like it, I really did try to keep this short. I kind of ran through everything. Maybe it'll help you for what you're looking for. Um, thanks for watching. Goodbye.